Howdy there carnivores, what's up? It's Caleb at Knudsen's. Today we're tackling, you can see it right behind me, we got about an 800 pound bull buffalo we're gonna be breaking up, burgering up, so we hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you like, comment below if you wanna see anything particular from our family butcher shop. This is American Bison. This bull actually weighs over 900 pounds. We have a front quarter and a hind quarter of bison. We're excited to cut up for you today and break down. The customer wants it mostly in burger. We're gonna keep the tenderloins. Here comes Corey Cunningham, our bearded butcher here in the Tri-Cities, getting ready to break down this hind quarter for you. If you want to check out a video on how we do a hind quarter of beef, I will put a link in the description. Nice throw, Corey. Next, he's tackling the flank. So if you watch the beef video, we have a bunch of fancy pants cuts you can get out of this particular underbelly. Right there, he's going into the bavette. Now he's gonna be peeling the tri-tip off of this hindquarter. Just using his knife to follow the seam of this muscle. Right above that tri-tip is our sirloin tip. Let's extract some of the kidney fat. Again, bisons aren't particularly fat as our corn finished steers or our beef here. This customer actually brought in some grass fed suet so we can add a little bit more fat to the meat. Now Corley's gonna be going to town on the sirloin tip. He's just using his knife to find the patella there and expose those bones so we can get a, bit, a little bit bigger knife and we're gonna follow that femur bone all the way down to where it meets the, the hip joint. Yeah, you got the chops, man. So we timed this hind quarter, three minutes and 20 seconds for Corey to break down this hind quarter. We've been really busy. Corey's our head butcher here in charge of custom meat processing. And we've been processing a lot of beef and bison, not so often, but we're excited to share this video. He is separating the loin from the round, just like we do on the beef. He'll use his knife just to finish that cut. We're gonna throw it over there on the boning table. We will extract the tenderloin from this particular bison for you. The customer requested that. The round out, yeah. And now we're gonna be extracting the round You can see he's following the muscle seams and cutting there towards the femur bone. And then using the weight of the meat, pull down with his meat hook. And find the joint where the femur meets the hip bone. He's going to cut around that up there and in like there. An and once we got it down to that last tendon, he'll take that over to the boning station. And here in our extended cut version, I'm gonna be showing you how to seam apart the bison round. We got the leg there. And boom, nailed it. Thank you, Corey. We're all said and done. They wanted some tenderloins. So Corey's gonna be extracting the tenderloin here from this loin cut. Usually if we cut bone-in steaks, we'll have some porterhouse and some T-bone steaks. But this particular customer wanted the tenderloins, so. He's gonna be following the vertebrae there. Very expensive meat, so you wanna get the most you can. And just using his arm there to pull, pull that meat and follow the bones right there. So that'll be our center cut. And then right here at the end, we call that the butt tender. When we cut off the sirloins, we usually extract the butt tenderloin and we'll make sure all the customers get some tenderloin um, and then they'll get the porterhouse and T-bone steaks.
Sweet, sweet. Tenderloin. Boom. Nailed it. We'll call that good. Yep. Yeah, I'm trimming up some of the silver skin off of that tenderloin. I cut off the chain, the chain muscle on the top there, and, and that's pretty easy. So here's Corey manhandling this 900-pound buffalo. Let's watch that in slow-mo. Oh, yeah. Earlier today, Corey processed a 1,100-pound beef. Yeah. And he's been using this Carlisle dolly to move the front quarter and the hind quarter so he doesn't have to pack it all the way over there to our Hobart saw. Right on, so start up the saw and Corey's going to be separating the rib from the plate ribs. There's our buffalo rib. You can see those vertebrae bones are a little longer than normal. Pretty much the same as a beef. Just notice there, once we get to the neck too, that uh, vertebrae in the neck area are going to be a lot bigger than beef. So Corey's going to go ahead and trim up this rib. That's the chime bone. He's just following those little indentations there. So we can bone that out and put that in a hamburger for our customer. Now we got that chuck. So here on the chuck, we'll have... Start out with the brisket and the shank, which is our first cut. Got it. Next is gonna be our chuck arm. So there's a little chunk of fat and a bone you can use as your guide to cut off the chuck arm. That's all going into hamburger too. Then our neck bone, which is particularly challenging to bone on a buffalo. And here, Corey likes to cut a little bit of the bottom of the chuck off so we can get those chime bones knocked off again. But again, this customer wants it all in the hamburger. So Corey and I are going to be boning it out. And I do have an extended cut here where we're going to show you the rounds. I'm going to town here on the bison round. You can see I'm quite the speed butcher. At least with Final Cut Pro, I can speed it up twice as fast as I normally go. First thing I'm doing, taking out the hip bone. There's a little indentation at the end there. If you've done a few, you'll get the feeling for it. I can still get a little bit more meat off that. Next, we're going into our top round. All right, there's a the top round. Now that we've separated the top round, we're going to go for the eye round. Again, you're just following the muscle seams of the round area. Usually we'll put that in a cube steak. We can make a roast out of it. But this customer wants all hamburger. So we're going to make hamburger out of all the rounds. And I'm going to speed it up here for you a little bit. All burger. So all that round's going into burger. We got their bottom round. We got your eye round. And boom. Just about done cutting all that up. Had a couple cups of coffee, as you can see. How you seen it? From carcass to cuts, there's an American bison, 900 pounds, into burger. That was the fourth when he brought in the buffalo. Stacy the Rooster is our main butcher. And if you want to check out some of his videos, check out his channel. This is one on him doing a bison. We want to thank you so much for watching this presentation of Knutson's Meats. Make sure you like it, comment below, and subscribe for more carnivorian content.